my beautiful friends! Today we are going to be playing with the newest collaboration from Fantasy Cosmetica and Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun. So we're going to do swatches, we're going to create eye looks, and I'm going to give you guys my first impression thoughts. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing. Turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blab break, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. One of my favorite people is collabing with one of my favorite indie brands and bringing you the Enchanted Autumn palette. I just keep thinking, like, please, summer, do not end because I live in a very cold place. So for me, fall is like a month and then it's winter until May. So I hardly see much of the sun when the winter season comes so I always like love fall but also dread it at the same time because of impending doom but either which way my friend Amanda created this beautiful collection and I just want to show you guys everything. So first of all I'm already wearing something that's part of this collection. It's the free gift with purchase so the first 150 customers are gonna get a free gift with purchase and basically it's either a necklace or a set of earrings that Amanda made. So Amanda's had a Etsy store for quite some time now. It's called Just For Fun Style and honestly I don't know how she does it all because she makes beautiful things, she puts up amazing videos and on the side she's also working on eyeshadow palettes and lip glosses. Like. When do you sleep, Amanda? The people want to know. Anyway, how cute. So I'm so excited to have another pair of her earrings. She made me some when I saw her this year in New Orleans, and I'm so excited to have these and wear them throughout this video. So I have close-ups. I have swatches. Ooh, I also finally got a Fantasy Cosmetica candle. So I have Whispering Woods, also part of the collection. I bought a what is it called? It's like a candle warmer type product. I'll put up a picture but basically I don't burn candles in my house because when we first got this house I was burning candles and I noticed like for some reason these like black stains would appear all over my house and so I stopped burning candles but lo and behold 2023 arrived or maybe it was this year that I got it but anyway it's this light that basically warms your candle so it makes it last longer and you get the amazing fragrance of a candle without having to deal with the weird black spots that were coming all over my house so I never picked up a fantasy cosmetic candle because I didn't want to be wasteful and just have candles sitting around in my house but I can finally smell this I can burn this in my house and it is a woodwick candle so it's the ones that like crackle which is so dreamy for fall and this just oh my god it smells so good so I cannot wait to use that but let's go ahead and look at the close-ups and swatches and let me tell you a little bit about this collection we are incredibly excited and honored to be doing our first ever collaboration with Amanda from makeup just for fun Amanda made necklaces and earrings to go along with the collection and they will be offered for free to the first 150 customers to purchase the palette. Discount codes are not applicable for product in this launch, but apply to other items. This collection is limited edition, so just so you know, codes don't apply, which is pretty standard for collaborations. So keep that in mind, but I do have a discount code, so if you want to buy anything else, you sure can. The launch date is September 13th at 9 a.m. Pacific, which is 11 a.m. Central Time. And here's the information on the collection. So the palette's going to retail for $44.99, and you get a free necklace or earrings. And this palette contains equal amount of shimmers and an equal amount of mattes. So we have six mattes and six shimmers and they're all these really murky cool tone grungy colors. I also wanted to get a shot of the inside of the palette because the mirror portion is so beautiful. I just love the intricate details. It looks like you're looking into like an enchanted doorway. I don't know if that's the vibe she was going for but it just looks very cool. So I think they did such a good job with the whole design. And then we have lip balms. These are all supposed to smell like different fall fragrances. So we have Twilight, Cozy, Elixir, Pomander, Crackle, and they all retail for $12.45 individually, or you can get a pack of five for $49.99. 
and this would normally be $62.25, so you are getting a discount if you purchase the bundle. The candle is going to retail for $29.99, and like I said, it smells freaking amazing. It also feels nice and weighted, and it has like this metal cover, so I don't know if that matters to you, but I'm just letting you know. You can get the full collection for $120. Normally, this would be $137.23, and again, you will get the free necklace or earrings if you are a part of the $150, I'm guessing, and then you can also get the partial collection, which is the palette and the lip balms, $92. This would normally retail for $107.24, so walked you through the entire collection, showed you swatches. I really want to try the lip balms out and the eyeshadow palette, of course, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I have to try one of these lip balms on before we go any further, and there were some shades in here that I was like, did Amanda, like, write down shades that I've just been, like, yearning for in my brain and then make them for me? So the one I really, 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 really want to try is this shade, I believe, and I'm so blind that I cannot see what this shade is called. Oh my goodness. It's the caramely shade. Let me put it on my lips. <gasps> it just like flew right out of there. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's so glowy and I love this color. I think this is cinnamon. It's definitely giving me like a cinnamony taste, but it's not overpowering because I feel like cinnamon is... It's interesting. Let me just say that because back home we use it for curry and here like people are putting them on like apples and I'm like that's something that I had to get used to when I moved here. Anyways, okay, love that. So glossy. I'm so here for it. And now let's go ahead and play with the palette. And I was like debating in my head because I wore a green shirt. I'm like, am I going to do a green look? But then I was like swatching these really pretty like pinky tones. And so I was like, should I do that? I don't really know exactly yet. But I did see my friend Angie had an eye look on in her new makeup releases video that was like a cool tone and it was like so pretty and I kind of want to try and recreate the vibe. Obviously I'm not Angelica, it's probably not going to look like that but I will try my best. <laughs> okay so I'm going to start off with this shade called Dogwood. It's just such a pretty like magenta pink and I'm just going to place that like in my crease. It's gonna be a great day. Whoa, that's pigmented. <laughs> that's such a pretty color. Oh, that's so pretty. So I don't know if I've told you guys the story before, but let me tell you the story of how I met Amanda for makeup just for fun. I was in New York City. I went to, it was an Ipsy event. Oh my gosh. It was in Generation Beauty, it was called something else. Um, and I was going with Angie. I had just met Angie in person and I was like, I've never been on like any kind of YouTube experience trip situation. And we convinced Amy from Amy Loves Makeup to go with us. So we met in New York and we were living our best lives and I hadn't met Amanda and I wasn't really exactly sure where she was. I'm sorry, Amanda, I love you so much, you know this. But yeah, I had no idea. So I don't even know what day it was. It feels like so long ago, but one of the nights we all ended up hanging out and we ended up just like sitting in some bar. I think it was like an Irish bar and we just like chatted and she was like such a chill, like down to earth person and we've been in touch ever since. and. Yeah, the rest is history, I guess. And now Amy lives like by her and they're like besties. And it's just like so wild to think how time and just life takes you in so many directions and places and brings you close to people that you met on the internet. Like it's just wild. So I got to see her in New Orleans. And I'm gonna see her in Vegas. I'm so excited. So yeah, we'll have so much to celebrate. Okay, next I'm gonna use heroin. Heroin? Oh my god, please don't kill me. It's the dark, cool tone purpley shade. Okay, this looks nothing like what Angie was doing, but I had good intentions, okay? She had this like beautiful like lilac in the inner corner and then like more like gray tones. So 
yeah, no. <laughs> this, this is uh, my loose interpretation of Angie's eye look. These mattes are so pigmented. I like barely have to like blend. I barely have to do anything. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. Okay, I'm going to do the most not Karen like thing to do and I'm gonna use the silver on my eyes today you guys know I'm a sucker for gold that's just like my tones when it comes to metallics again this is my loose interpretation of Angie's eye look <laughs> that I saw that she did and I believe she had a silver on her lid so I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm so embarrassing myself because you guys are gonna know which eye look I'm talking about it was in her like newest makeup releases and you guys are just gonna roast me. I just fucking know it. But you know what? It was so pretty. And she kind of had the shimmer kind of halfway on her eye. It wasn't bought all the way in. And it just looks so cool. It feels so wrong not to put a shimmer all. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried to leave the inner corner like mad, but I'm like, this silver is so freaking metallic. I just have to use it. On the lid I feel like I don't even know the last time I put a silver eyeshadow on my lid I'm like freaking out a little bit it's like what is happening but I do have these silver earrings on so technically it matches I do have my necklace on but I can take that off <gasps> it's so sparkly Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. I might have to change this lip color out since I went with silver. I might have to try that purple one because it looked kind of interesting. Okay, I kind of am here for it. Let me line the waterline quick so I can finish up this look. Okay, I found this Shantikai eyeliner pencil that they sent me forever ago. And I never remember to use like these colors, but I recently kind of like organized my eyeliners and threw out my Linda Hallberg ones because if you haven't seen Angie's video on them being like poisonous or something. Anyway, I went through so I hopefully organized my eyeliners in a way that made them easier to find. And I got this Shantikai package back in the day when Look Fantastic would send out Shantikai PR. And this is a eyeliner in the shade Amethyst. So I thought it would totally go with the vibe of this look. That was a long story about mostly nothing. Okay, so now that I have eyeliner in the waterline, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the shade Dogwood, which is a really pretty pink. I feel like this is almost a bright color in this palette because it's kind of a grungy color story. I keep thinking of Amanda's collaboration with Odin's Eye and thinking like this palette paired with that palette if you have it would be so fun because I think that's a little bit lighter and then the grungy tones from this one would go so well with that palette so I kind of missed up here on the outer corner but I will fix that off camera so don't worry but that's gonna bug the heck out of me until I'm done <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that bright pink and then on the inner corner I think I'm just gonna use the silver I think that would be a fun inner corner shade did you notice that I took off my necklace I did I'm pointing it out to you so that my efforts weren't wasted <laughs> this metallic is so sparkly I love it I literally don't know the last time I used a silver eyeshadow but okay the look is done. Let me go ahead and put on some mascara, throw on some blush, do the whole thing, and I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts, first impressions, and yeah, let you know all the tea, I guess. <laughs> okay, friends, here is the finished look. Low-key, my hair is so ready for a washing, so don't mind the ponytail. That's what we're just gonna go with today but let me tell you I've got the candle in my candle warmer and it smells like I'm in a cozy cabin it's so perfect for fall it's the whole piney woody scent and I'm 
so here for it. I love that kind of fragrance. I did finally get my Sephora order in and I got one of the Gucci blushes. This is the shade Warm Gold. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't have any base to it. It has a beautiful glow, but it's not super overwhelming, which I am not mad about at all. My blush today is from Lawless. This is one of their new shades that they're coming out with in their cream blush line. This is the shade Cheeky, and I thought this cool tone mauve would pair so well with this wintry look. And then for my lip color, I'm wearing this lip balm from Makeup Just For Fun and Fantasy Cosmetica. And I paired it with the Unearthly Lip Liner in the shade Carnage. This is a really pretty purple lip liner and I think this looks really nice together. As far as my base makeup goes, my foundation is the Easy Blur Foundation. This is just my second time wearing it. I wear it in the shade Gingerbread. And then I pulled out the Laura Mercier Concealer. And bronzer, as always, is the same Beauty Liquid Bronzer. And I topped it with the Hula Caramel Bronzer. I've just been favoring those two products recently. So that is everything I use to create the rest of my makeup look. I just wanted to mention... Okay, so back to the lip balms. These are super lovely. I think they're so comfortable. I love the shades. They're very fun. Perfect for fall, but also you can just throw them in your purse and they don't feel sticky at all, which is so nice. They're comfortable, they're hydrating, and I love all the different flavors that she included. So those are a 10 out of 10. Love my little earrings. I hope you guys are all able to get them. If you are interested in them, otherwise you can of course visit her Etsy shop and make a purchase there. And then last but certainly not least, the palette is so cute. It's so different. I don't know, I was not expecting Amanda to pick such deep grungy shades. And so I'm super duper interested to see her other looks with this palette. I will try and remember to link her announcement video in the description box as well if you haven't seen it, but I'm so surprised that this is such a grungy, like cool tone palette. Most of all, I'm surprised that it's so grungy, but I love it and I can't believe I'm wearing a silver eyeshadow on my eyes. The quality feels great. The mattes are so pigmented. I love that for me. And like I said, I think this palette would pair so well with her Odin's Eye palette too, because I think it has some fun deepening up shades and some fun sparkles as well. So these are so, so beautiful and I'm really excited. Like I mentioned, this is launching on Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will post a reminder for you guys on my community tab in case you wanna get your hands on this. I don't want any of you guys to miss out. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this collection. Also, don't forget to enter my monthly giveaway. This week is gonna be wild because there's a lot of fun launches. And so I will definitely have a video with the new Poison Garden palette as well from Bella Beauté Bar. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for hanging with me and I will see you very, very soon. Bye friends.